No YouTuber, Woober, Woober, Uber, Woober, Woobers. Oh, my be. He's a little slap happy. So, um, Monday, 8 1. And so I was thinking about, uh, I was. I've been kind of playing around with what to do with my power system, whether I just run a stand inverter, blah, blah, blah. And uh, reading different videos, I mean, that's what's great about the off-grid community is there's a lot of information that is shared, and a lot of it's legitimate. And, um, you know, I have one of those smart meters on my house. I didn't have a choice. It was there when I bought the house. And I don't think I'd have a choice anyway if they came and said they wanted to put one on. So if you have a smart meter, there's a good chance that if you run any kind of a grid tie inverter, even if it's one of those ones that you just plug into an outlet and then you run your wires to a solar panel to kind of give it, if you have a reach point where your usage in your house is down low enough that that inverter feeds back into the net, into the grid, that electric company could actually charge you for feeding power into the net which is interesting, you know, when the belief is you're going to spin your meter backwards. That's the big thing when they talk about roof systems and everything is spinning the meter backwards. And I've never seen anybody show a meter going backwards, just kind of like stop. But, um, you know, the smart meters are paying attention to what you're using and it's sending the information over the phone line or the not the pole wire, but the electric wire somehow. Information back to the power company, they can go and observe you use it. So if you're using a lot of power at night and not during the day, you know, they could essentially charge you more for that or vice versa. Use the peak times is during the day when businesses are using power and not at nighttime. That's why they say to do your dishes and stuff at night when, uh, you know, the power consumption is lower. But, uh, so apparently there are some devices out there from Schneider that will monitor the power and going, being used and anything going out onto the, the grid is cut back to the, the inverter. And it's kind of cool. But meanwhile, I was just kind of asking different people that I know that I'm subscribed to, you know, whether they have a digital smart meter or they have an analog. Uh, to just kind of come up with a an idea about how it works, you know, and what they say that they get for power usage and, and they pay for electric bill and stuff just to get a feel for how it's uh, all interacting together. And, uh, you know, I was asking someone about it recently and they made a comment saying, you know, it's, the, the companies do all kinds of crazy things for people trying to hook up grid ties illegally to to the, their homes. And it's like, well, I want to generate power for myself in my own home. Why is that considered illegal? Do I have, I have to notify the electric company that I'm doing so. Otherwise, I'm breaking the law. You know, who, who made that decision? Did, a, did our senators representatives make that decision that you know people can't generate their own power that they have to buy it from a nuclear power plant or a coal plant or an oil plant or you know you know some conglomerate that has to charge us for it through the roof and if we if we get caught doing so or in trouble I mean you know where did that come from you know who decides that no I can see why you don't want to put power out on the grid. There's a lot of reasons why. That's why the grid ties will all shut down uh, if there's a power failure. I mean, you know, it certainly is. They're making money selling electricity to other people and, you know, that's their business. And I can certainly understand that part altogether. Why they would charge you extra if you were at, you put power over there is, is probably more so of a, I don't know, but, you know, it gets you thinking about it. It's like, you know, there are parts in this country, the United States of America, where we're supposed to be relatively free. And there are countries, or I mean, sorry, there are, are cities, towns, states, whatever, that forbid you. It's against the law. 
to raise your own food. Now, who makes that decision? Why would people stand by and let their senator that they elected, you know, pass a law saying that they're going to fine you for growing your own food? They're going to fine you for collecting rainwater, rainwater from the sky, put it into a barrel so that you can water your garden. Who, 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 why, why would people sit by and watch that kind of happen? Now, I'm not exactly way up on political standards either on how things happen. But it's just an amazing to us that, you know, we're looking for politicians to save us. You know, the big T guy or the big H lady is going to save us from, you know, destruction. But we've allowed our lawmakers to pass laws that prevent us from basically having life. You know, it's just like not be able to, you know, grow your own marijuana. Not that I grow my own marijuana, but, you know, it's, you can buy marijuana now, medical marijuana, but you have to have a license and you pay a lot of money for something that you can plant from a seed and grow. It's same, essentially the same stuff. You know, it's all about corporate greed. But we allow it to happen. It's not like all of a sudden just corporate America just takes over. You know, when these things become law, we allow it to happen. We allow the people that we elect to run our government pass these laws. You know? So you can blame the world about it or you can take responsibility for it. You know, that's just my thinking. You know, we can't all just go into a, do a homestead and get off the grid and disappear into the woods. I mean, we can do that, but, you know, there aren't enough woods. And, you know, even people who are off the grid, you know, could people, I watch them all the time and I love them for it. They'll say, oh, we're disconnected from the grid. You know, we're not paying bills. But they do, they are actually transmitting a YouTube video off to the internet. So they've got to be on the grid somewhere. <laughs> they won't pay an electric bill. They won't pay a water bill. And they still have to pay taxes. If you live in this country, those places still require taxes. So you're not completely independent. And, you know, you're still paying for your cell phone. And you've got to go by your, your you know, you're not completely living independent. Although there are probably people that are. But, you know, it's all relative. But that's all, that's all besides the place. You know, I'm kind of getting off topic. It's about taking responsibility. And, uh, you know, we, we are in control of our own destiny. We're not, not somebody else hasn't written a book for us. And we just have to be followed along by our noses. Well, if we do that, we're allowing that to happen. You know, people are watching these little phone gadgets and saying, Ooh, where's the magic creature? And they're walking along and then they walk into a car. Or they walk into a bridge or off a bridge or into a door. You know? Or they do that just because they're doing that. Or they're doing it on the, driving a car. They're texting on their phone. You know? And they're being oblivious to it. Or they, they never listen to the news. They spend all the time listening to music without having to ever listen to the news. So we all take responsibility for our actions. That's just the way it goes. And if you don't wish to, you know, then you can't blame things on other people for the way things are for yourselves. That's just the way I look at it. It's just my opinion. At any rate, I'm going to share down below in the comments the uh, latest so to Tuesday, which is going to talk about the same topic more elegantly than me because I'm not really a public speaker. And uh, ta-ta!